Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, I wanna show you how to create spaces and how to use it. This is an activity that you can do it once when you start a project and you can use it multiple times in many instances during your project. You can create a space, you can create a report. Basically, you identify every single room with a specific number that you can utilize when you're doing the punch list, when you do uh, tracking your field issues, when you wanna communicate communicate any problem in a certain locations with your traits. Without further ado, let's jump into Bluebeam so we can see how we can create spaces. So for the spaces, we want to put the spaces on this and I want to show you how we can use it. So the first thing you need to find spaces and the first one is basically add space. So when you click that one, you'll be able to draw over the space that you want to name it and you can hold shift to make the line straight. So I'm holding the shift right now and you can see the line is go straight and any area that you want to basically get a curve or something, um, you can change it. And as soon as you're done, close the loop, it gives you an option to name. So let's just go with the just room numbers for these exercise. This is the first one. Let's just do the second one. I'm kind of doing the same thing, basically tracing the area of each room. And then as soon as I close the loop, it's 120. It basically I can adjust it. Then you can see if you uh, basically give them a number. It's just kind of use it as a pre-default and continue. Because the first one I put 122. The next one just by default is going to be 123. But you can adjust any of those rooms. So the next one is going to be 118. Uh, I'm going to adjust this one, go to the next room next to it. And just keep in mind, you do this on the rooms that you need only once when you start the project. And this is a great thing because when you name the spaces, it's basically allocate a specific label to that room and you can use that for your punch list. So when you create a punch list, when you're done or you want to send anything, uh, that is a, any type of markup on the Bluebeam and you want to share it with, the, with your subs, with your trade partners, you can use the spaces and name it. So you can see right here, I basically put everything and it's going to create under the sheet 131A, I have all the room numbers. The next one, you can basically hide and highlight the room or unhighlight it. Um, this is going to be just the preference if you want to use it. And the last one next to it is the edit. So if you right click on the grip, it's basically give you an option to turn that grip, uh, remove it, add it, turn it into a curve. So just make sure you have to right click on the handle, not the space basically so basically you can get the option and then um, the last one if you look at it is the space properties you can adjust the name over here you can change the colors you can change the opacity if you have let's say different department you want to show them in a different color you can kind of adjust those and then change the color easily um, over here and assign them a, a different color for the different area that you have the next one that we're going to go uh, and you want to take a look at it, it's basically you can right click on that and edit the spaces if you want. And also you want to highlight and unhighlight that we basically touched on that. So this is the, the, the two options that you have right there. So if I right click, let's say on the room 114, right? I have snapshot. I have create area. Let's start with the snapshot. So if I click on the snapshot is basically make a copy of the same room exactly and you can kind of paste it in a different drawing so it has the same attributes to that room that the space that was created with the same naming and you can also see it's going to create another one only for room 114 on a different sheet for you so this is really really helpful if you want to make a different markup and you don't want to ruin your um, kind of original space this is a great tool to use it because it basically copy and paste what you created over here and take it and put it on another sheet so you can kind of work on that sheet to add your markup create more um, instances or anything that you want on this one this is going to be a great thing and um, you can see that basically just name it um, everything it says you have on sheet 131a but different rooms you have on different sheet the next one you can also instantly create an area measurement the first thing you gotta make sure you scale so this drawing is not scale i can use the preset it's one fourth 
um, I can select that one over here hit apply you can see my shitty scale right now and there you go it's basically created uh, the area so see how fast I can get the area uh, uh, the basically square footage for each room that I have and the good thing is you can also go to the snapshot because it has the same attributes it can basically calculate the same uh, thing over there so just make sure you uh, scale the snapshot that is copied and after that you basically will be able to get all of that so this is a great tool that you can use also you can have all the other option cut and fill same properties that you can access to in this area and the last thing is you can get all of those markups under uh, your markup list and this is a great tool because you name the rooms everybody knows what rooms what the problem is and you can adjust all of these column and customize it and basically add more uh, info to this with the area if there is a concrete footing that you want to do you can put the volume on it um, and also you can you know date it change the status change the color for every single one and if you need any customized column you can add it over here so i think naming this space is going to be the first step to create a very very good punch list for your project thank you guys for watching today's video on bluebeam and creating spaces if you like the content please subscribe and leave a like and i will see you in the next video mm -hmm.